Ghost Lands refers to the southern portions of the Elvish Kingdom, which have not yet been reclaimed since the undead invasion. Once a radiant place, teeming with life and beauty, the Ghost Lands have become decrepit. Their haunting forests linger perpetually in shadow. A sizable host of the remaining undead scourge still dwell in the deadened forests under the command of Darkhan Drother, the greatest traitor to the elven people. Furthermore, the plague of undeath has had adverse side effects on the local wildlife and uncivilized creatures, mutating and emphasizing their more monstrous characteristics over the course of the last several years. However, glimmers of hope can still be found in this darkened vista. Sylvanas Windrunner, the former elvish High Ranger, and now Queen of the Forsaken, has established contact with her former compatriots in the Ghostlands. United, the Forsaken and the Blood Elves are set against ridding this place of their hated foes, both old and new and reclaim what little they can from all which they have lost. The ghost lands were once just another part of the sprawling Eversong woods. The forests only claimed their new name following the Third War, in which the undead scourge invaded the Elven Kingdom and capriciously defiled, slaughtered, and tore their way through the hallowed woods. Most of the original settlements were obliterated during the invasion. Their haunting ruins litter the landscape as monuments to the losses suffered by the elvish people, inhabited by the rotting remains of their once proud denizens. These days, the ghost lands are covered in thick mists which blot out the sky. The trees cannot survive here, their leaves withering and their trunks a sickly gray. The coastline is foggy and polluted. The beacons from its lighthouses now shine only with the spectral essence of mindless banshees and its beaches home to small eldritch creatures gibbering incoherently towards the endless night sky. The corruption reaches its pinnacle at the Scourge's southern bastion, known as Deathholm. Here resides Darkon Drather, who betrayed his people and allowed the Death Knight Arthas into the Elvish homelands. Nothing grows in or around his citadel. Its buildings rise from the blighted earth at jutting angles, reminiscent of blades plunged into a festering wound. The composting heaps of soil are all that remains of Thassala, the High Elven Mother Tree a facsimile of the night elven world tree. It was in the tombs beneath Deathholm, where the Scourge kept the lifeless body of Sylvanas Windrunner for a time, as her lamenting spirit anguished in the world above. And all the while, the traitor Drather was given command of the devastated forests by his newer, darker masters. In the years since, Sylvanas regained control of her will, as well as her original body, though now she is forced to possess its lifeless husk as a banshee. Sylvanas has taken command of other undead who have been freed of the Lich King's control, ruling her new faction known as the Forsaken. The Forsaken have rejoined their old highborn allies in the Ghostlands though now the Elves call themselves Blood Elves in honor of those who were lost in Arthas's invasion. Reunited in the town of Tranquillion, which has become the operational center for these unlikely comrades, the Blood Elves and the Forsaken make plans to retake the region from the Scourge. And while tensions sometimes mount between the living and dead in Tranquillion, a common cause, the total annihilation of the Scourge, solidifies their alliance. The Ghostlands is a tragic region, inhabited by those who have lost everything, yet never ceased to fight for better or worse. The ghosts here are not just lingering souls, but ghosts of kingdoms fallen, 
ghosts of dreams forgotten, and the ghostly murmurs of those who seek retribution. It is here where the old allegiances were cast aside, be they by blood or by banner. But in the Ghostlands, new allies are made in the most improbable of circumstance by those who have been betrayed, lost or abandoned, amidst the wreckage of a kingdom yet reborn. For too long, the Ghostlands have been left to evanesce into silence. The ancient songs of glory turned to languished wails until fading into the faintest whisper. But on a quiet day in the Ghostlands, if the wind is just right, and if you listen just close enough, you can still hear echoes of old victories beyond ruins not quite forgotten. 